Hello and welcome to Student Chambers. This video tutorial will be looking at how to navigate through the 18th edition wiring regulations. So through the various navigation videos for the 18th edition, we will be looking at to identify the scope of BS7671. You will also be able to locate definitions easily, navigate through the different chapters, locate the appendix, and we will also highlight key areas of BS7671. Now this is an important part to note because this will give you a clear understanding of how the exam for the 18th wiring regulation is broken down. So we have seven different parts and the appendices. So this will give you information of the number of questions expected in each area and the percentage it weighs. So knowing this information here will help you plan and prepare for your exam effectively. Whereas if we look at part four and five, they hold a very big weighting, almost 50% will be contained within the parts four and five. Parts three and seven also have a fairly big weighting. So combined together, you're almost, if you can get those questions and those correct, then you stand a very good chance of passing the exam. So please make a note of this here. Now, BS7671, the relationship with statutory regulations, BS7671 is not a statutory document. And this is how it's broken down. So, BS7671 is referred to in the electrical, electric, electricity, safety, quality and continuity regulations as being an acceptable standard which will satisfy those statutory regulations. So if we comply with the 18th edition one regulations, we are also satisfying the requirements for statutory regulations. Now, through the course of the various navigation topics, what we'll be looking at is the different parts and the chapters and sections which they are listed in. Now, the aim of these video tutorials is to help you learners navigate through the 18th edition wiring regulations. Because there is a lot to learn and this short tutorials that I'm creating is purely to help you understand where to look through your regs. So when you go in your exam, you know exactly what area to look into. Now, the short navigation course which I've created is not for, for not for learners which have not undertaken the regs exam before. So if you haven't taken the 17th edition exam, I would not recommend you just going through this method and navigating through the book because there are lots of key pieces of information which you must know and learn. So again, I have to reiterate, these tutorials are purely for navigation purposes only. This will help you effectively look through your regs book and understand where certain information is contained within. And now the different parts which are listed in the regs are listed here. And I will be creating a series of video tutorials which will explain different parts and the key areas to highlight, highlight and how to navigate through. A key area here to learn is if whilst you're looking at these short video tutorials it will be very helpful 
if you could go to if you could open your regs book up and follow the course content as we go so if there's something listed on page 13 if you flick to page 13 you'd understand what I'm referencing to and you can also make a note for that because when you need to go back and further study you'll understand exactly how it fits in so now through the regs book you will see a varied lots of different types of regulations and numbering so then this is how the numbering works so if you remember from earlier we have seven parts so the first number of your regulation refers to the part the first two numbers combined together refers to the chapters and all three numbers refers to the section this is a good way to familiarize yourself if you get a question in your exam which says please refer to regulation 232 so then you'd understand, okay, this is contained in part two, chapter 23, section 232. And the more you become familiar with the regs, and the more you go through your 18th edition wiring regulations, the more it will become familiar. So we have a series of videos being released. This is the first part, which just gives you an overview of what is expected in the 18th edition one regulations and please view the other videos we will have coming